You know, games can be spiced up quite a lot with adding simple quick time events like this, allowing you to press a certain button within a certain amount of time to either get a failure or a success and execute some arbitrary code based on that. The way we have that set up here is using a custom enum where you get the types of inputs that a quick time event can be looking for. So in this case, that would be the face buttons. And then we also make a corresponding input action for all of those buttons, which we of course then map to the corresponding buttons in our input. Input mapping. That all comes together in a widget blueprint for the quick time event, which has an image and a progress bar and all that kind of visual stuff. But more importantly, it has all of those input actions. And when we start those, we check a exposed variable, the QTE input, which is of the enum type that we made, whether or not this quick time event is looking out for this specific input action. If it is, we call out a event dispatcher for finishing the quick time event. On event construct for this thing, we get the current game time in seconds. We add to that the time that we have to react. We set that as the end time. That's how much we delay. We go into a gate and then also call out the finish quick time event, this time without success being true. And if the quick time event was already triggered to be finished with it being true, we close that gate. And from there you can kind of trigger it however you want. So here we have a simple begin overlap where we check, hey, are we overlapping with the player character? And is the QuickTime event currently not active already? If so, we create a new widget blueprint of the type QuickTime event. We set the widget component on this actor to that widget, and then we bind to finishing the widget. And depending on whether or not it was successful or not, we do one of two things. In this case, it's just printing the string for success or for failure. Of course, you can do this with any arbitrary code that you want. If you want to check out a much more in-depth step-by-step guide on how to set this up entirely, there's a linked video to this short going over it all.